What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because it's just Bro, shut up. Oh my god. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Moody at Moody Darkroom and today we are going to be going over some BTS of a recent photo shoot that I did. So I'm going to kind of just do this talking head, break down what the photo shoot was. I've been trying my best to get some more BTS, obviously, but it is kind of hard when I'm like in the zone trying to focus on the photos and I don't have a designated person with me all the time to record BTS. So um, I think I got some pretty good BTS for this one. So we'll kind of just, you know, let the footage run and I'll show you guys the really cool photos that I was able to capture. But before we start this video, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Zyro. So as you guys know, Zyro is a web building platform that I like to use. It is my favorite overall web building platform because one, it's the most cost effective. You will not find a cheaper web building platform that offers everything that Zyro offers. Right now, if you guys sign up, you can use my code Moody Darkroom or click the first link in the description below and get yourself some even better deals like having up to three months free on any of the one year subscriptions. Um, I personally use it for my website because it offers everything that I need need so I can use it as like a portfolio website I can also have it as a store I can do everything I need it's honestly such an easy platform to use I got my website up and running in like literally 20 minutes when I first started I've obviously tweaked it ever since but you know when I first started using it it only took me 20 minutes to get so if you're a photographer and you wanted to show off your portfolio website go ahead and just check out Zyro because Zyro is one of those platforms that does everything that you need it to for a really really good price and then you can use that money that you would have spent on a website to put it towards gear or to anything else that you want because at the end of the day, if you can save money, why wouldn't you? So make sure to check out Zyro, click my link in the description, or use code at Moody Darkroom. Overview, basically this photo shoot was a photo shoot over at the studio Honeymoon Inn here in LA. Um, shout out to the homies, Jacob and Thomas, for always inviting me to come shoot. They have really cool locations. If you guys ever want to shoot at these locations, you can rent them out for yourself on Pure Space. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend really cool sets. Um, but yeah, we were shooting at the Honeymoon Inn. I've shot here a couple of times before, as you guys have seen in previous videos and in previous photos. It's the studio with like the really vintage-y kind of look to it, like 60s, 50s, that time zone. Um, really old, vintage-y kind of brighter colored, more saturated decorations, really cool vintage look. It's kind of like stepping back in time, right? So it's a really cool set and I've shot there a couple times before, but they actually recently updated the place and added a few new rooms. And with the new rooms comes, you know, new chances to get new photos. So I obviously wanted to take advantage of that. And not only that, but they were bringing in a really cool laser guy. Um, shout out to Nice Lasers on Instagram for showing up and doing the magic. Came through with his laser rig. Um, I don't know a single thing about lasers. All I know is that it's a really expensive laser and you probably can't get it because it's like illegal to own, but not illegal at the same time. I don't know, he explained it, really weird situation. But anyways, uh, yeah, we just kind of shot in the new set at Honeymoon and we got some really cool photos with the lasers. I did shoot some other stuff with some lights that I got um, and I'm gonna be doing a separate video dedicated to that so I can kind of review the lights that I got, but there's some tube lights, are really cool, they're the T60s by Dukin, um, video on that coming soon. I've been just kind of messing around with different looks lately, and this is, I guess this is still technically like my style, but I've been just kind of, you know, I didn't go in with like a specific plan, I just kind of went in and messed around and got some really cool shots. And we were also shooting some new filters that Prism's working on, so we were testing out the Halo filter, um, I also tested out a little of the rose filter, which is like a diffusion filter with like a slight rose tint to it. And then there was also the, um, what was it? It was like a half stop uh, mist filter. So it was like a stronger version of the dream effects that I already use. Got some shots of those. I didn't use the halo filter for too many of the shots, but I did get some really cool stuff with it. So you guys will be able to see that. Um, like I said, they're in development. I think you can pre-order the halo filter. I don't know if you can pre-order the two other filters yet. But uh, yeah, that is the overall rundown of what this photo shoot was. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the BTS. I'm just gonna let the BTS run for the rest of the video and kind of show you guys how this photo shoot went down. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, make sure to subscribe and like, it really just helps this channel grow. Thank you guys so much for 11,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you that subscribes. And if you guys don't already follow me on social media, make sure you follow me at Moody Darkroom. That's Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, literally anything you can think of, I'm on there at Moody Darkroom. And if you guys appreciate my photos, thank you so much. And I got some more content coming soon. So I'm gonna let the video run and hope you guys enjoy. See ya.